Hey guys, welcome back to Wyatt's Perspective. I just got out of the shower. I had a haircut, but none of that matters. What does matter is this Hasbro Black Series, Obi-Wan Kenobi Series, Darth Vader. So I'm gonna get this guy out of the packaging and show you guys what I think. Before I do get him out of the box, I wanna show you the box. Now some amazing box art with like a blue that fades. His bio. She basically just talks about how they've had like a battle, him and Obi-Wan, for years and how he's actually Anakin. And then it's just a really awesome window box. Plastic's better than paper on packaging. I'm sorry, but it's true. Now, you should always, always, always cut away from yourself when you're opening up action figures just because it's safer. And yes, I am using a He-Man axe to open up this action figure. I don't collect boxes or anything, so I am just gonna completely destroy it. And out of the box, what do I think about this guy? First off, I wanna say if you are a photographer or a stop motioner like me, the amazing I'm looking at you with your amazing photos, you would love this guy. He's solid and he's detailed and those things go together so, so well. Now, about details. I love how you can like see the texture on the pants and how his boots are so reflective. And I love like the glove texture and all of his buttons. So glossy, so shiny. I love his reddish brown eyes. The cloth feels like a higher quality than the Skeletor and Mattel capes because it feels less, less craft store feeling, if you know what I'm saying. I love how it just like drapes over him. Like you can just have him like totally covered in it. It's such a big amount. Like, look at that. I love like his pouches on the side and if you are wondering, as far as accessories go, it comes with this lightsaber. And if you make the light up closer, you can see that it's translucent and it's pretty reflective. And my favorite part, boom. No saber attached anymore. Or, yeah. And he does have a little holster kind of thing right there and it is of a clip and you can drape it so you can have like a cowboy thing where you have like obi-wan holding his thingy and then Darth Vader holding his thingy you know what i'm trying to say I absolutely love this figure. He's so fun. I'm gonna take this off. As far as he has nothing in his head, but oh, like that much up, that much down, and then the side to side. His arms go out to about there, and then he has a swivel there all the way around. He does have a bend and a swivel at the elbow, and then he does have a hinge and a 360 for the hand he has basically no torso yeah like no torso his legs go out to there up to there not back but he does have a thigh swivel and then he has a double jointed he does meet Fuchs requirements and then he does have a his foot goes up and down, and it does have a swivel, which is very painful to look at. So that's his articulation, such an awesome figure. Our sizes go, he has, here's He-Man. He's not as tall as He-Man. Here's a Marvel Legend. And Mayfexes are around the same size as Marvel Legends. There's that. Here's a NECA turtle. Oh. There's that. And then here is the 
Bandai Mandalorian. These are my only two Star Wars figures in my entire collection. So that's kind of insane. And of course, the main character in all of my stop motions, my favorite celebrity, Dwayne Johnson. Taking them out of the way to put in the biggest figure in my collection. Oh my gosh, what the? Zangief. Now my final thoughts are, this figure is a nine out of 10. He's solid, thick man, like basically a brick figure. Has amazing details, so reflective. His lightsaber is the best lightsaber design. How it can hook onto the belt, and how you can separate the blade from the actual like part you hold it. So amazing. Such an awesome figure, 9 out of 10. Hope you have an amazing day. Please like and subscribe. Go check out my other stuff if you enjoy me. And that sounds so wrong. And have a great day. Be safe.